Hi Bruce from Safari in Queensland, Australia with our video supporting our Dame nomination 2024. The product family that we've nominated is called Starship. It's a range of digital switching and monitoring products. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why it is so profound an innovation and how it reduces uh, the cost and increases the simplicity for marine installations. I'm holding up here one of the controllers. It's in a beautiful billet machine case and it's star power. It's 150 amps in and there's 12 outputs here on the bottom. And consider each one of these outputs as a defined software endpoint. And in all of our controllers, those endpoints are called IPv6. In other words, they are an addressable endpoint. And what we've been able to do is to control those endpoints through three different ways. One way to control an endpoint is with a NEMA keypad. I'm holding this one up here. It could be an MFD. Uh, another way to control it is with a wireless switch. I'm holding up here a Bluetooth long range wireless switch. This could be in a cabin or in a saloon. A 40 meter range uh, through metal, 100 meters line of sight, and it's using the new 80215 transport layer uh, which gives you high reliability and security. Or it could be using your phone and using a smartphone app on a phone, a tablet or a laptop or a dedicated display that we have. And this is communicating directly with this device using a new standard called Matter. And Matter does not require the internet and it will operate with an iPhone, a Google, Samsung or uh, Amazon. Totally agnostic to the brand. And so the simplicity here is that there's no middleware. So if you wanted to have these three different types of devices communicating in the past, they're generally going through another box or boxes before they come down to the end controller, to the end point. But in this architecture, the three of them go directly to the control. So it eliminates a whole bunch of middleware and generally that middleware is proprietary protocol. Uh, these are communicating on an open protocol Matter is open, the Bluetooth standard we're using is open, and the NEMA standard that we're using, of course, is published. So this eliminates middleware and makes it simple. I'm now holding up Starlight, another beautiful billet machine case, uh, 12 channels. Uh, then we've got two devices here that are IP68 to be embedded, so these could be down in the engine room or elsewhere on the ship. And then we've got our Star Tank, which is a radar tank level uh, transmitter and that can be uh, mounted on top of the tank has a 40 meter range as well minimum through metal 100 meters line of sight and that's another wireless device we have then we've got some switches with e-tiles on the front where you can set uh, using a smartphone uh, the image or the name on the e-tile instead of engraving it's a little bit of a, a pizzazz about it if you wish uh, but all of these products here have got a cost base of less than half of anything else in the market because of the profound simplicity of the architecture, I've got to say. How good is that?